And welcome return to the Westchester Real Estate Values Channel. Today's video will be focusing on property tax deferment, the basics. Qualified homeowners can use a property tax deferment to save on annual expenses. While deferring taxes usually refers to a period of delay in paying taxes on an item until a later date, property tax deferment comes with some additional importance. Here is a quick guide about property tax deferments. How does it work? Property tax deferment allows qualified homeowners to discontinue their real estate property taxes as long as they remain qualified. While the taxes are deferred, there is a tax lien on the property. Interest will still accrue even if you're not making payments and unpaid taxes will appear with a delinquent status on public records. Now, who qualifies? Specific qualifications vary state by state, but senior citizens and homeowners with disabilities may qualify for a property tax deferment. However, the general rule only applies to the property serving as your primary residence. Therefore, if you qualify for a deferral but move to another home, taxes on the old property will resume. Check with your local government to find out what opportunities you have to delay your tax payments and what your responsibilities are as a new homeowner. What happens next? Deferrals do not last forever. If the deferral ends due to a home sale or inheritance, the tax collection will resume and require payment of the entire deferred amount. The amount would include interest accrued during the deferral period. While property tax deferment can be a huge benefit to homeowners, the taxes still need to be paid eventually. Therefore, when considering a new home, it's crucial to investigate the tax situation to make the best financial choices. My recommendation, check with your local uh, tax authority or income tax preparer. Thank you for visiting. Please, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, or requests for new topics, please leave them in the conversation, comment section below, and I'll be sure to address them. Again, thanks for visiting. I look forward to seeing you soon.